Hey, good morning, Kirk Euler back with you. So yesterday evening I previewed uh, that I'm gonna go through the numbers of the federal dollars as they're allocated out to the state and how 42 counties are getting screwed by this governor. So at the end, I'm gonna list off the 42 counties. If you live in one of these counties, you need to be on the phone with your county supervisor telling them we're done, it's time for us to band together. 42 counties should come together and sue this guy right now to get us out of this. But let's talk about the dollars. So. Overall, across what's called direct allocation, which was from the federal government, federal treasury, directly to 16 counties and some of the cities within those counties, there was a direct allocation made of $5.8 billion. Then there was a state allocation that was made of about $1.3 billion. That was sent out to the state to be divided amongst those who didn't get anything directly allocated. So that adds up to a total of $7.1 billion. Simple math says if you take $7.1 billion and you divide it by the 39.5 million people in this state, then each county should receive, if we're doing this fairly, each county should receive about $180 per resident of that county. But what's actually happened? So under the direct allocation, $5.8 billion was divided by 16 counties. You take that and divide it by the population of those 16 counties, each of those 16 counties got $174 per resident of the county. Now that's money they've already received. They got that back in April. 16 counties, $174 per resident of the county already in the bank. 42 of us counties were supposed to get our money out of the state allocation. We're still waiting, but here's the formula the governor decided to use. Instead of saying, we're going to make it all equal, no. The governor decided he's going to take that $1.3 billion and he's going to split it in half. And he's going to give $645 million to be divided amongst the 42 counties. And then he's going to give $645 million to be divided amongst these 16 counties. After they already got the 174. By adding the $645 million to the $5.8 billion, these 16 counties average $193 per resident of the county. These 42, $102 per resident. He has given double the amount of money per resident to 16 counties that he's given to the 32 counties. And he's making this decision. The very same individual who says one phasing plan is gonna to apply to all 58 counties equally, and all 58 counties have to go through the phasing plan according to his criteria, and we can't get out ahead of anybody else, and he gets to determine, so we're all gonna be equal there. Why aren't we equal here? So if you're one of these 42 counties, it's time to get active. Here we go. Alphabetical order, listen up for yours. Alpine, Amador, Butte, Calaveras, Calusa, Del Norte, El Dorado, Glen, Humboldt, Imperial, Inyo, Kings, Lake, Lassen, Madera, Marin, Mariposa, Mendocino, Merced, Modoc, Mono, Monterey, Napa, Nevada, Placer, Plumas, San Benito, uh, San Luis Obispo, Santa Barbara, Santa Cruz, Shasta, Sierra, Siskiyou, Solano, Sonoma, Sutter, Tehama, Trinity, Tulare, Tuolumne, Yolo, and Yuba. If you're one of those 42 counties, you're getting screwed. And it's time to push back against this governor. Enough is enough. You know, Governor, Minneapolis is burning because somebody with the authority under color of, the color of law put their knee on the neck of an individual and choke the life out of them. You have your knee on the necks of these communities across this state, and we're done. Get off of us, let us get back to work, let us resume our livelihoods.